Hi all, this is Abhay Mahajan and I welcome you all to this series called United by Mathematics wherein I discuss some elegant problems of different Olympiads across different countries. So this one is from China 93 and this is a problem which involves floor function. The question says find the last two digit of the number greatest integer of 10 to the power 93 upon 10 to the power 31 plus 3 where this of course represents greatest integer function or the floor function as we call it. Now, this would involve some properties of greatest integer function and we need to know some of the properties and one of the properties that we'll be using in this question would be greatest integer of n plus x would be n plus greatest integer of x where n is of course an integer and this of course can be easily proved, right? So greatest integer of n plus x is n plus greatest integer of x where x is an integer. So let us try to solve this question. In fact, we will extend this question. So what is being asked? We, we are being asked last two digits. We'll find last three digits, last four digits, as well as last five digits uh, in this case. So let us do this. So first of all, this number 10 to the power 31 looks scary. 10 to the power 93 looks scary. Let us do away with that scare by putting 10 to the power 31 as t. So the question becomes t cube upon t plus 3. So how do we simplify this? So clearly we need to add 3 cube and subtract 3 cube so that we can do something with the denominator. So 3 cube gets added, 3 cube gets subtracted in the numerator upon t plus 3. So if we separate the first part, so t cube plus 3 cube of course we'll be using the formula a cube plus b cube which is a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. So t cube plus 3 cube would give me t plus 3 which gets cancelled out. So we have t square minus 3t plus 9 minus 27 upon t plus 3. So this gets simplified to this expression. And of course, since t is an integer, t square minus 3t plus 9 is an integer and if we apply this property, n can be taken out of the floor function. So t square minus 3t plus 9 can be taken out of the floor function and what we'll be left with is plus greatest integer of minus 27 upon t plus 3. And if we look at this expression, so 27 upon t plus 3 where t is a number 10 to the power 37, which is a huge number as compared to 27. So clearly this number is definitely less than 1 and greater than 0. And if you multiply this inequality by minus 1, this changes the sign. This changes the sign. So this very number in the greatest integer or the floor function is a number which lies between minus 1 to 0. So the floor function of this is minus 1 clearly. So we have this equal to t square minus 3t plus 9 minus 1. So this simplifies to t square minus 3t plus 8. And if I take t common from the first two, so it will be t minus 3 plus 8. t minus 3 plus 8. Now let us look at it carefully. So t is a number 10 to the power 37. So what we have is we have an expression t into t minus 3 plus 8. So t or 10 to the power 31, if I, if I put back the value of t, so 10 to the power 31 minus 3 plus 8. So this little expression is multiplied by 10 to the power 31, which means this number is followed by 31 zeros plus 8. So of course, the last two numbers would be 0, 8. The last three digits would be double zero eight, And last four digits will be triple zero eight and this answers our question we were asked the last two digits the, of course the answer would be zero eight i hope you understood the question you like this uh, solution and do let me know in the comments take care god bless